Welcome, guys. Welcome, Joe Vogs. Episode, uh, we'll call this 13.2, probably. Um, weekday. It's a weekday, and it is a weekday. Um, two meanings. Um, but it's a Wednesday, so it is what it is. Um, how is everyone? Hope everyone's good, man. Hope everyone's having a good lockdown, good week. Um, it was Burns night on Sunday, um, so didn't have any haggis, man. Didn't celebrate it, but obviously I'm uh, I'm staying true to my roots. I know about that, so big up all the Scottish uh, people out there. If you're Scottish as well and you're watching this and you want to come on the podcast, let me know. We'll talk about Scotland. Um, there was a there was a Scotland shirt that I looked on. Uh, it was on Facebook, and it was like an away kit from like 1992. It looks sick, and it was only thirty quid, but it was a replica site. And all the people on Facebook on the comments were like, "Dodgy site, mate." I don't know. They were like tagging their mates and saying like, "Do you reckon it's legit?" And his mates were like, "Nah, bro." So not worth the risk, man. Maybe do you know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, what did what happened this weekend? We watched um, McGregor, Conor McGregor, the little Irish, uh, the little Irish warrior, man. So madness absolute madness i watched it and record i bought it recorded it woke up about eight o'clock in the next day didn't have a look at my phone and put it on man it was snowing outside had the fire on didn't like didn't have a drink or anything the night before just so i woke up fresh and oh camera looked like it moved a bit there but um yeah so we watched that I'm trying, I'm, I'm noticing, I'm, I can feel this squeaking, so I don't know whether that's bad or, like, obviously the squeaking's bad, but I don't know why I'm noticing it now. I think because I've had a comment about it, so I'm stressing out, but we're going to sort this chair. Obviously, when we're in the new studio, don't have to worry about these sort of problems, but at the moment, it is what it is, man. Might get it is what it is t-shirts made as well. But, right, so we watched um, the UFC 257, 246. Who knows, one of them in between. So first fight, skipped all the stuff. Want to give a big shout out to Joanne Calderwood as well. She's Scottish. Happy Burns night, Joanne. Um, you killed it. Um, this might sound something like, this might sound isty. Like, don't know whether it's sexist or mm, n like nationist. But anyway, when she fought, she was hard as fuck. And then afterwards it said she was from Scotland and I was like, Hmm, um, what sort of Scottish accent am, am I expecting off this woman? Because, you know, I go to Scotland a lot and I just thought I could walk past this woman knowing that, you know, she could beat the shit out of me. And, uh, you know, would I sense that in her voice? And anyway, she had this like really, uh, she was from Kilmarnock. So it's like a standard Scottish accent. But it sounded really like a nice, sweet little Scot like Scottish woman. So uh, just goes to show never judge someone from their accent because... Uh, you know, like blind date when you they're behind a curtain. You know, if it was like a version of blind date, but it was like fight, blind fight, and you could choose to fight someone just from hearing their voice. You know, Joanne Calderwood, and said, "Yeah, I'll batter you." You know, I'd probably be like, "Yeah, right, I will fight," and then, you know, she'd be the shit out of me. So. Never judge a, a person's fighting ability on their voice. That just goes to show, guys. So that's a nice lesson I learned. Also, then it was uh, the big one, man. Well, no, the second the second big one. It was Michael Chandler versus Dan Hooker. Um, Dan Hooker, mad name. Hooker is a... Could be a female prostitute. Could be a male prostitute. Could be a position in rugby. It could be a... Um, could be one of those things that uh, Turkish people smoke shisha you smoke shisha sometimes from like a hookah or hooker but anyway Mark Chandler came over fought Dan Hooker for the um, well just a, a lightweight fight uh, and started off I was thinking okay Chandler looks he's, how, the height difference mad how is he going to you know hit him basically anyway he just landed this massive like was it a right hook? I can't even remember, man. But he just bombed Dan Hooker out, knocked him down, and then just fucking destroyed him, man. And then 
done a flip off the off the ring, off the cage. So yeah, Chandler one to watch, man. Just it's just insane, really. Even there was a little bit of a crowd because it was in uh, Dubai as well. But I was thinking like just fuck, man. The ag you'd have before going out for a fight, like the stress, man. Like I'd probably pass out just thinking, you know, this is going to be seen by so many people. Do you know what I mean? And anyway, so that happened. Um, and then McGregor versus Dustin Poirier. Now McGregor, everyone knows who McGregor is, do you know what I'm saying? Uh, superstar, just a crazy guy, man. He's been in the news, I think, past few years, do you know what I mean? He's, people think he's a bit of a dickhead. I thought he was a bit of a dickhead, to be honest, just from seeing stuff, you know, like punching that old guy in the pub. Um, I think he slapped someone's phone out of their hand. There's allegations about him, do you know what I mean? Just seems one of those guys that just uh arrogant man just in any way no negativity on this podcast but you know what i'm saying so but he's, he was so humble leading up to the fight man he was just like dustin i respect you as a man no that's that's a bit normal Irish, but he was like dustin i respect you do you know what i mean just bear humble anyway dustin poirier he's always on the theo von podcast man just seems like an absolute geezer um but i didn't think he stood a chance man anyway fight starts McGregor pretty much battering him, I thought. Um, and obviously the leg kicks. Poirier's thrown a few leg kicks out, but I'm, I went to, you know, UTC in Birmingham once with Jack Edwards. We went um, for like a month and trained there. And uh, I remember one of the like the training things was like, right, stand, pick a partner and stand in front of them and just kick them on the leg. Like, right, kick them on their right thigh, kick them on the left thigh, and then they kick you vice versa and just keep going keep going and then they do that and it's just to show how weak your legs can get basically after like so many kicks and towards the end you know what i mean we're just tapping each other like kicking each other and we're just dropping and it's hilarious man so obviously i'm creasing because I, I can't feel my legs and everyone else in the class is like who the fuck like, do you know what i mean like take me seriously on i'm just creasing like with two dead legs like how funny so that looking back obviously uh you can see why my career in uh, martial arts didn't go that very well but it is what it is, man. And then, yeah, so poor Ray hitting those leg kicks. First round done, I thought, right. Um, McGregor's won this, man. Do you know what I mean? McGregor's won this. Poor Ray don't look that good. Then second round, probably first minute or so, poor Ray's just starts coming at him. Bang! Bro, t hits him in the jaw. Kind of looks a bit rocked. And he just don't stop, man. He's throwing fucking bombs, just not stopping at all. Poirier, um, McGregor tries to like duck. Poirier catches him, man, drops McGregor. Poirier just don't stop, man, just fucking throwing bombs at his head. And uh, he got stopped, man. And McGregor was like, like he put his hands up to his head, man, like, oh, like, like, just dazed, like, what, like, kind of like in and out of consciousness, kind of like, what's happening? Like, I'm, it really hurts. And he just looked bad, man, so he got stopped. But to be fair, McGregor was sound, sound about it. Um, and he'll be Batman. I reckon there's going to be a trilogy fight. Um, but I'd still bat McGregor to win that, do you know what I mean? I think he's sensible enough to, you know, and he's good enough fighter to be like, right, don't get kicked in the legs. Let's go for it. But sick, man. I've got gassed. It's been a while since I've like, watched a fight and I've been like, mad. Do you know what I mean? Because Chandler won and i was like jesus weren't expecting that and then poor everyone weren't expecting that do you know what i mean um but crazy man crazy 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 but anyway right what i want this is the whole thing this is why i uh filming tonight because i got a letter today so i just needed to video me opening this because last podcast i said uh jack Ag, friend that's coming on the podcast soon um and obviously we've locked down it's a nightmare can't be doing the podcast as usual but rather than pause a youtube channel do you know what i mean i thought throw a video out there man do you know what i mean no one watches it anyway so why not but anyway ag sent me a email that he'd sent to nicola sturgeon saying basically joe vlogs my mate's a huge fan he started a youtube channel um could you send him a letter or something just to show you know just a letter of like i don't even know man just to say well done keep going 
Anyway, obviously not expecting a reply. Bro, someone replied from like her office saying, send the address. So anyway, bro, the letter came today. I can't, I'm creasing. So it's gotta be, I thought I'll wait until I'm videoing me opening it. But it says here, return address to Andrew's house in Edinburgh. So it's gotta be, it's a Scottish government letter and it's addressed to Joe Grafton, Joe Vlogs headquarters. So we're gonna open it, boys. This is jokes. Very presidential way of uh, sending a letter as well. You know, if I'm gonna be knighthooded one day, um, this is the start basically. So Mike, I've gotta keep, obviously I'm gonna frame this letter, so. Jokes. Jokes. Oh my God. I need to wear gloves to wear this. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Right. From the RT Honourable Nicola Sturgeon, MSP, First Minister of Scotland. So it's my, it's titled Joe Grafton, Joe Vlogs Headquarters, my address, the date, 22nd of January, 2021. She's, and she's wrote, obviously, the middle's typed, but she's wrote, can you guys see that? I'll take a photo and I'll put it up. Um, I'll put it up there, but Joe, Nicola Sturgeon wrote, wrote to Joe Vlogs, man. And you can't say we ain't presidential at this podcast. Finally, the people... Are understanding. Do you know what I'm saying? Finally, I'm getting some the recognition Joe Vox deserves. Yes, Nicola. So it says, Dear Joe, I have been informed that you have recently commenced a po from Nicola Sturgeon, by the way. So this is right. Let's go. Dear Joe, I've been informed that you have recently commenced a podcast called Joe Vlogs. Please accept my very best wishes and every success for your new venture. I would also like to thank you for all your support over the years. Take care and stay safe. Best wishes, Nicola. And it's signed from Nicola Sturgeon. Presidential business. That's what we're about on the podcast. My friend Nicola. I got friends in high places, subscribers in high places. Yes, Nicola. Big up. Big up Scotland. Big up the Scottish government. That is hilarious, man. How funny is that? Like, that's getting signed, man. I mean, it has been signed, but do you know what I mean? He's getting framed. That is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. That is just so funny, man. I'm going to have, now, on my wall, hurling stick, bang. Tie boxing shorts, bang. Letter from Nicola Sturgeon, bang. A letter from Nicola Sturgeon. I can't believe it. That is the funniest thing in the world. So I'm going to go and frame this. Um, big up. Oh, yeah. I forgot to say. Um, I'll be on lost 5 nil to Man City yesterday. And I've said it before. Try not to talk about football much on this podcast because... But to be fair, if I'm talking about UFC, I can talk about football, do you know what I mean? Um, but we're just too shit to talk about, so I don't even want to talk about it, man. Like, it's it's gone past being funny. If we're a bit shit, and it's like, oh, no. Like, with that shit now, it's not funny, man. I'm not, I don't want to talk about football. don't want to watch football. I don't want to deal with any football. Saying that, if we beat Fulham, we'll be back, and I will be interested again, because I'll, I'll, you know... But if we lose against Fulham, then that's it, man. Like, you can't keep doing it to me, Albion. Like, it's ridiculous, man. Big Sam, we beat Wolves. Can't get over how gassed I was beating Wolves. Then we lost to West Ham. And we didn't even play that bad, but it was one of them. And then Man City, I was shook. I had that feeling of, like, we're going to get... You know how bad it is to have a feeling where you're gonna, you know you're going to lose. It's just you don't want to lose badly. That bad... I, I wanted to lose badly, so we didn't lose that badly. Like... I was praying we only got beat 5-0. So when we got beat 5-0, I was like, I, I suppose that's good. I was like, oh, I suppose, you know, it's only five. And then I thought, why am I saying this, man? I know it's Man City, but 
We're in the same league as them, man. And it's just proving everything my dad says, right? About, you know, wanting to just stay in the championship because then at least we'll win some games. And I was stupid and thought, naive and thought, you know what? Well, you got a dream. You know what I mean? Less, look what Leicester, look what Sheffield United done last season. Look at Burnley, look at teams like that. But nah, we're shit, so game over.